Hi there, this is Anna from MB Make Tea, and today we're reviewing Botley the Coding uh, Robot um, from Learning Resources. It's suitable from ages five, and uh, me and my son Brandon have been playing around with Botley um, to see what he can do, what tricks he can get up to, what obstacles he can avoid, and games he can play. Um, so in this short video, we're going to show you how to use Botley, super, super easy, using this uh, little remote control here, you program in what you want him to do. There are a number of different things to do here, object detection, looping, uh, clearing the last program that you set botly, and, and then pressing transmit, which transmits all those instructions to him, and he, he should do what he's told. <laughs> um, so let's get started. So let's start with some basic commands. Let's move botly from the blue tile up to the orange tile. So I think we'll go for two of move forward and then transmit, he lights up and off he goes. So let's try and turn him around. So clear the um, the steps that you programmed last. So we're gonna want him to turn around twice and then make him come back to me. Let's see if this works. <laughs> Here we go. So another cool thing that Botley can do is follow a black line. So to do this, you just want to turn Botley over. Turn him around. You see here it says line coded off. So right now we've had it on code mode. So just flip it up to line. He has a sensor down here that for him to follow the line. So let's start him here. And if we press this center button, he should follow this black line. Here we go. Now my son Brandon really likes this. This is pretty cool. So you can draw your own path for Botley to follow as well, um, using a you know a thick black marker and some paper. It's pretty fun. Some other really cool stuff you can do with Botley is finding all the Easter eggs and hidden features. Um, which my son Brandon really thinks is fun. So um, let's see uh, if we can get him to say hi. So there are some examples in the instruction booklet and you can find a load online as well. So let's just clear anything that we had programmed last. Uh, forward, forward, right, right, forward. Press transmit and he should say hi. I should probably move out the way now. <laughs> Did you hear? That's <laughs> cute. So let's do another trick. Um, let's make Botley dizzy. So grab the controller, just clear anything that you had programmed before. And we need to do right, 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 uh, left, 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 and transmit. And make the little dude dizzy now. <laughs> Super cute. Okay, so this time let's program Botley to move forward and push this orange ball uh, over here. So let's uh, clear anything. Okay, let's go forward, forward. He needs to turn right and he probably needs to move forward a couple again. See if that works. Oh, he's a bit off. <laughs> But you get the idea, so you can use a lot of these um, tools and things to create obstacles um, and set up different challenges for Botley to perform. So another thing that you can do with Botley is set up um, if-then programming. So if Botley meets this obstacle here, um, then you know what do we want him to do? Um, and you can use that using uh, this button here, so object detection. So let's program him. Uh, to try and avoid this cone. So you need to place it about 10 inches in front of Botley, um, clear any old programs, and then press the following sequences. So uh, forward, 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 and then press this object detection. So this little light lights up here to indicate that if he finds uh, an object in his path, then we're gonna tell him to do something else. We're gonna tell him to go uh, right, uh, forward, and left. So move away from it. So let's see if that works. Oh, 
<laughs> so yeah, he correctly identified um, that the cone was there and he needed to move out of the way. Need to have a robot.